For our ankles, the, the stretch is going to be called wall ankle mobilizations. I'm going to place one foot forward and one foot back, and I'm pointing my feet as straight as possible. People make the mistake of having their leg bent out, and then they don't feel the stretch as they do it. You want to keep that feet foot. I tell my clients, point your toes to 12 o'clock. From here, I'm going to lean into either a squat rack, a wall, anything you can prop your hands up against is great. I'm going to keep my back leg as straight as possible, so my knee is extended back, and then I'm going to lean forward with that front leg, so I get a stretch somewhere through my calf and through my Achilles tendon. I'm going to do 8 to 10 on one side, and then I'm going to switch, and I'm going to do 8 to 10 on the other side. For our hip flexor stretch, we're going to get down into a 90-90 position. From here, you can have your toes dug into the floor or you can have your foot nice and flat. I'm going to squeeze my glute and just drive my hip forward a little bit, coming in and out of the stretch. So a mistake we see with this, with this stretch, this exercise, is where people crank through their lower back. You're not stretching out your hip flexors here, you're just moving and putting your lower back into extension. So make sure you can feel that stretch as you're moving forward. You don't have to go too, too far. You just want to feel a light pull in the front of that hip. 8 to 10 on one side, and then you're going to switch 8 to 10 on the other side. For our groin stretch, we're going to get down on both knees. If you need a mat for this exercise, no problem. Feel free to grab one. You're going to place your knees as wide as you can, and you're going to rock back and forth in and out of the stretch. You want to go nice and slow and try and get deeper and deeper for about 8 to 10 reps. A mistake we see with this stretch is where people will rock back and they actually go into lumbar flexion. So you don't want to be rounding your back. Just go as far as your hips will allow you, getting deep into that stretch and coming in and out for those 8 to 10 reps. For stretching our glutes, we're going to have a seat on a bench. I'm going to take one leg and I'm gonna cross, and I'm gonna place just above my ankle, right up onto my knee. From here, I have a slight push in my hand, and I'm gonna lean forward, and I'm gonna deepen the stretch. I'm stretching the leg that's bent, so I'm really feeling this in my right glute as I lean forward, eight to 10 reps, and then I'm gonna to switch to the other side, slight lean forward for eight to 10 repetitions. Stretch our hamstrings, we're gonna use a bench. I'm going to place the leg of the hamstring that I'm stretching on the bench. I'm going to keep a slight bend in the knee. Most people don't do this. They stretch forward. They end up pulling on their sciatic nerve, which is really not a good thing for that nerve. When you're doing this stretch, keep that slight bend in the knee. There's no muscles in the back of the knee. Our hamstring belly is here. That's where we're trying to stretch. So you bend your knee as much as you need to in order to feel the stretch in the middle of the hamstring. And then we're just tilting over with a slight lean. Feel the stretch there, go for about 8 to 10 reps, and then I'm going to switch to the other side. Again, slight bend in that knee, and I want to feel that stretch right up at the top of my hamstring. You don't have to lean too far forward, just enough to get that little stretch, and try not to round your back as you're leaning forward. When stretching out the chest, I'm going to take my elbow up to 90 degrees. I'm going to have my shoulder up so that my upper arm is parallel to the ground. And from here, I'm going to lean into a rack or a wall, whatever it is. The arm that I'm stretching, I'm going to have that foot in front. And I'm just going to lean forward and slowly pull my shoulder back. So I'm getting a stretch right up in the upper pec, like so. I'm going to lean for about 8 to 10 reps. And then I'm going to switch and do 8 to 10 on the other side.